بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you dear students? I hope everyone is fine and be healthy. Today we are going to learn one of the most important topic of the 11th class biology lesson that is blood. First of all we are coming uh, to the definition of the blood. Blood is a type of connective tissue which transport oxygen and other nutrients to all over the body. Now, if we look to the human body, in the human body we have 5 to 6 liters of blood. How much? 5 to 6 liters of blood we have in the human body. If we take this blood and we give a percentage, 100 percentage, from 100, 55 percentage is plasma and 45 percentage is blood cells. So, what is the plasma? Plasma is the liquid part of the blood and 45% of the blood, these are the blood cells. Many types of blood cells we have. If we look to this diagram, here we have the blood tissue and the blood tissue is the connective tissue. Two types of or two parts in the blood we have. The first part is blood plasma and the second part is the blood cells. The blood pl plasma is made from two parts. The first part is serum, liquid part, and the second part is the fibronogen. Fibronogen is a type of protein. Now this protein and the liquid part combining with each other and making the blood plasma. And the second part of the blood tissue that is blood cells. Blood cells, 45% of the blood tissue made the blood cells. Now, three types of blood cells we have in our blood. The first type is RBC, the second type is WBC, and the third type is platelets. RBC we can say red blood cells, and in Latin, erythrocytes. Erythrocytes, RBC or red blood cells, all of them are same. If we take a one millimeter cube now just suppose that it, this cube is one millimeter one millimeter cube we have if we fill this cube with with blood what can we get we can get some blood parts, those are the plasma part and the cells. Plasma, 45% is plasma. This part is the plasma and the rest part is the blood cells. Now, in this one millimeter cube of the blood, we have four to six millions RBC in this one millimeter cube. And WBC, WBC, we have many types of WBC and parts. And for each type or part of the WBC, we have different types of rings. And platelets, third type of the blood cells are platelets, or we can say thrombocytes. Thrombocytes are from 150,000 to 3,000 platelets are present in, the, in this one millimeter cube. Now we are coming to the WBC. WBC in the Latin we can say leukocytes. Leukocyte or WBC. WBC is abbreviated as white blood cells. White blood cells, two types of white blood cells we have in our body or in our blood. The first type is granulocyte and the second type is agranulocytes. Now we are coming to granulocytes. What are the granulocytes and how many types? Three types of granulocytes we have here. The first type is neutrophil and the second type is eosinophils, and the third type is the basophils. These three types are the types of white blood cells or leukocytes and they are in granulocytes group. In other hand, we have agranulocytes. Why the name of these cells are granulocytes? Because they are resembled to grains and they are not resembled to grains. So they are called agranulocytes. Agranulocytes, we have two types of granulocytes. 
The first one is the monocyte and the second type is the lymphocyte. If we look again to the cube, in cube, agranulocyte, from agranulocytes we have the monocytes and the range of the monocyte is from 100 to 700 in 1 millimeter cube. And lymphocytes from 150 to 3000 lymphocytes we have in 1 millimeter cube. And lymphocytes, two types of lymphocytes we have in the WBC. These are the T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Why are they called T and B lymphocytes? Because the T lymphocytes are made in, in a gland that is located in our chest and the name of that gland is thymus gland. So the thymus, from the thymus we are taking the T and this T is combining with the lymphocytes. So we can say T lymphocyte. These T lymphocytes are those lymphocytes which are made in our thymus gland. And the second type of lymphocytes are B lymphocytes. Why B lymphocytes? Because these lymphocytes are made in our bones. From bones we are taking the, the word B or the later B. So B lymphocytes are made in our bones. Because of that these lymphocytes are called B lymphocytes. So it is the percentage of and range of the blood cells in one millimeter cube. Now we are coming first of all to the blood plasma. We have to discuss the blood plasma. What is plasma? Plasma is a liquid component of blood. It is consists of nutrients or foods, waste products, salts, proteins and other materials. 55% of blood is plasma. Before we mention that, 55% is the plasma of our blood. If we take this 55%, for example, here we have a tube. In this tube, this part is the, we are putting some blood in the tube. Now, this part, the bottom part, it is consists of 45% those are the cells of the blood and we have here 55% plasma it is the liquid part which part the liquid part of the blood if we take this plasma and separate it from the cells part now we are going to give a percentage to this 55%, 100%. Now we are looking in this plasma how much or how much percentage these components or nutrients do we have. For example, 55% of the blood is plasma. Now if we give the 100 percentage to the plasma, from 90 to 92% is water. Now here from 100 90 to 92 percent we have in this plasma the water this water this water give the characteristics of the liquid part to the plasma and from seven to nine percent we have protein and one percent the remaining one percent is or there are some other types of material like amino acids carbohydrate lipids hormones urea acids enzymes alcohols antibodies, minerals, and trace or other types of elements or materials we have. So these all materials making just one percentage of the plasma. And 7 to 90 percent of the plasma is consist of the protein. And from 90 to 92 percent is water. When we add these all percentages, we can get 100 percentage of the plasma and after that this 100 make the 55 percent of the blood and the remain 45 percentage is the blood cells most blood proteins are produced by the liver we have some proteins amino acids in our blood now these proteins are made by our liver liver make these proteins what are those proteins? Some important proteins of the plasma. The first one, fibronogen. Fibronogen is a type of 
protein which is made by the liver and the function of this protein is blood clotting. When we cut our finger, we have weasels in the finger. After the cutting, the bleeding occurring. For the stopping of this bleeding, the blood must be clotted. So, who clot the blood? The fibronogen. What is fibronogen? Fibronogen is a type of protein. What is it? It is a type of protein. So we can say that fibronogen, fibronogen is involved in the blood clotting. It prevents the bleeding from our body. In the second type of the protein which is present in our plasma of the blood and made by the liver, that is albumin protein. What is the function of the albumin protein? The function of the albumin protein is to regulate osmotic pressure. To regulate what? Osmotic pressure. What is osmotic pressure? Osmotic pressure is the pressure which is occurring in the process of osmosis. What is osmosis? Osmosis is the process in which from the high concentration to the low concentration, some molecules are traveling or going to the low concentration. This process is named as diffusion. Now, we have the diffusion of water. If water molecules transferred from the high concentration to the low concentration from a semipermeable membrane, we can say the osmosis is occurred. Now, for osmosis, we need a pressure to transport these water molecules from low concentration to high concentration and from the semipermeable membrane, there must be a pressure. This pressure is named as osmotic pressure. Now, albumin regulates the osmotic pressure of blood and interstitial fluid. For example, this is a tissue. In this tissue, we have some cells. And between the cells, we have some spaces. There are some spaces between the cells. These spaces are filled with some liquid. This liquid is named as interstitial fluid or liquid. Now, there must be the osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is for what? For entering the, the molecules or nutrients to the cell. Now, these nutrients are coming from the blood vessel. From blood, from blood vessel with osmotic pressure, the molecules or nutrients are transporting to the interstitial fluid. After the interstitial fluid, these materials must be entered to the cells. Now these materials are transporting or entering by the help of this osmotic pressure. This osmotic pressure is controlled by the albumin protein. And this albumin protein is present in our plasma. And the liver makes this albumin protein. And the third type of protein which we have in our blood, that is globulins. Globulins participate in the structure of the antibodies. Antibodies are some proteinic structures and they fight against some microbes or antigens. The materials which are not from our body, they are coming from the uh, outer environment and uh, entering to our body. Our body cannot recognize them. In that case, our body makes some antibodies against these antigens. So these antibodies are made from globulin proteins. So the globulin proteins or antibodies are made in our liver and these proteins are present in the plasma. Now we are coming to the second part of the blood. That is the blood cells. First of all, we are coming to the RBC. Three types we have blood cells here. RBC, WBC and platelets. We, now we are coming to the RBC. What are the RBC? RBC are the red blood cells. And the main function of the red blood cells to transport the oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other nutrients. If we look to the RBCs, the lifespan of the RBC is 120 days in our body. When a new RBC is made in our body, from the first day, 
the lifespan is going to the 120 days. We can say four months. They can live for four months. So the lifespan is 120 days. After the 120 days, the RBCs are destroyed in our body. Where they can destroy it? In liver and spleen. And also, the new cells are reproduced by the liver and spleen. So, two millions of the RBCs are made in each second in our body. In each second, two millions of RBCs are made in just one second. So, we can say that it is a high amount of reproducing of the RBCs. Repro reproduced by the liver. So we can say the RBCs are destroyed by liver and spleen and also reproduce also by the liver and spleen. So RBCs are reproduced by liver and spleen and beside the liver and spleen they are reproduced in our bones. Which type of bones? The long bones like our sternum, ribs, and uh, long bones in our body, which we have studied in the skeletal system, femur bones, humerus bones, tibia, fibula, many types of long bones we have in our, our body. In these bones, we have red bone marrow, so red bone marrow can make the RBCs. If we look to the shape of the RBC, it is disc-like shape and concave shape, disc-like and concave shape. If we look to it from the beside we can see like this this part is the concave part of the rbc like that so disc shape rbc have the disc shape and concave shape the most important vitamin in rbc reproduction is the vitamin b12 for reproduction of the vitamin uh, rbc there must be some materials and components to make RBCs in our blood. So the most important, we have many types of materials in the structure of the RBC. From those materials, we have vitamins. And the most important vitamin is the vitamin B12 for reproduction of RBC. And also we have another vitamin that is vitamin B9, which we can say that uh, folic acid. These are the two most important vitamins in the reproduction or, uh, or in the structure of the RBC. We have a disease that is belong to the RBC or our blood disease. The name of that disease is anemia. What? Anemia. What is anemia? Anemia is the condition in which the amount of RBC is reduced. So we can say reduction in RBC and hemoglobin. Reduction in red blood cells and hemoglobin. This condition is named as what? Anemia. Decrease amount of oxygen delivered to the cells. When someone, when someone have the anemia, in that case, his blood cannot transport a complete amount of the oxygen to the all cells cannot deliver the cells. So the decreased amount of oxygen delivered to cells. In that case, this person causes fatigue and lack of tolerance to the cold. He cannot control himself and he, 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 is, he has the tolerance to the cold. Lack of tolerance to the cold, we can say. The most important anemia, we can say iron deficiency anemia. Which type of anemia? Iron. In this type of anemia, there is the reduction in the iron of the RBC. The iron deficiency we have in the RBC, so the RBC amount is decreasing. In that case, this person is anemic person, and this anemia is caused by what? By iron. And in his body, the iron deficiency we, we can see. Now, what is the hemoglobin? We mentioned that Anemia is the condition in which the reduction in RBC we can see and reduction in hemoglobin. What is hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is made from two parts. The first part is the hem part and the second part is the globin part. 
Him part is the iron group. What? Iron group of the RBC. And globin is a protein group. When they combine to each other, we can get RBC or red blood cells. And this hemoglobin can give the red color to our blood. Hemoglobin function. What is the function of hemoglobin? Transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide to all parts of the body. If we take one cell of the RBC, we can see approximately 265,000 of hemoglobin molecules. If we take this one RBC, there are 265,000 of hemoglobin we can find here. So this is the structure and the function of the hemoglobin. In next lesson, we will study the RB, WBC and platelets. If you have got any question, you can ask in the WhatsApp group. Have a good time.